Okay, um, we're trying to find gifts for the family. I hate this. And I bet you any money we're gonna walk out of here with nothing. I know, I can't stand it. Absolutely nothing. Um, yo, your camera's so sick! <laughs> we want to get everybody. I think we should just get them gifted to- Um, okay, so, there's Forever 21. You want to go in? Are you out of your mind? There's too much stuff in there. Oh, that would be cute for Milan. Let's go, let's Look go. Look at that dress. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at that dress. Which dress? Look. <laughs> but her she's too tall. This would show she back. It gets so hard to buy these kids. I'm over this. Like we should buy them. We should just say we're family and you know we sit down. There was a time. I wanted something meaningful for them. Like get them actual something, not just a stupid gift card. Well, good luck with that. I know. And look at my child. How he looks. I look good. But Miles, if you could just take the the. They don't, want off you to the look hat. The they don't want you to look good at the mall. Here we go. We're looking good at the mall today. Here we go. What are we shopping for again? Um, I want to know what you're getting me for Christmas. I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting you for Christmas. Why? There was a time when you would say that you only, you don't want anything. Family for Christmas? Enough. Now he's asking. Okay, the toy I tried this out on and she was busting out. I'm getting it though for after the baby. Yes. Get yeah, it yeah. Did I get it? Yeah, get it. Get it. Uh, you should wear it now and just unbutton the buttons that are by your belly. Down, all the way down. Just like from here to here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just do it. I think we're just gonna have to stick to gift certificates. Um, but I found myself a cute little top. So that's what happened yesterday. Miles, Latoya, and I went shopping and we circled around a huge mall and um, we couldn't get anything. We just couldn't find anything. And you know why? It's because we're overwhelmed. Are you feeling the same way, overwhelmed like I am? I mean, okay, and I have a family that's really huge and our extended family is I mean, listen, you see that movie Home Alone? I think it was based on our family. We can go on a family vacation and leave one of the children at home and not even know that the kid's missing till we're all on the vacation. <laughs> That's how many kids it feels like we have in this family. I have 20 children on my list. So somebody was telling me that because their family is really huge, their tradition is to pick one or two names out of a hat and they buy two quality gifts for the kids that are outside of their family. I think that's a really good idea too. And um, you know, it's really the thought that counts and we just get so, it, to Christmas is turning out to be like a wedding. You know, it's only for one day and we're putting ourselves in all this expense and we're just losing the whole meaning of Christmas. I mean, it's all about family getting together and good food and making calls to people. This year I put myself on a budget because you know what? Christmas can drive you into a financial burden. This is real ting, people. Real ting. Christmas reminds me of a wedding. It's all so expensive and it's over in one day. It's over in a flash. And then we're left with bills upon bills trying to pay off for it. Let's so go and listen to our trusty financial advisor, Uncle Warren, and hear what advice he has to give us to sort of stick in a budget and not let ourselves get too overwhelmed with Christmas. Um, Warren, say hi to the lovelies. Hello, lovelies. <laughs> okay, what is your advice as to how much a family, or what is the statistic saying about what families are spending on Christmas? Well, what I can tell you is that uh, families are overspending during the, the holiday season. So it's more important to look at how to avoid uh, getting into debt and, uh, and, and, and discussing that uh, during the holiday season because so many people overspend uh, much more than what they had anticipated. Uh -huh. So I would certainly recommend that you want a list before you head out to the malls. You want to have an idea as to what you're what you're going to be 
uh, buying and how much you're budgeting. Uh, and try to stick with that, stick with cash, if at all possible, so that you're not spending more than what you should be spending. If you have cash, you know, when there's no more cash, that's it. If you're using a credit card, you're not using physical cash, so it's much easier to spend on a credit card. If you do have to use a credit card, what I would recommend is that you use just one card. Go out and shop by yourself or shop with people who shop like you. You don't want to be going out and shopping with big spenders. So if you have a cousin, a relative that likes to uh, flaunt uh, the things that they buy for people and they're going to the jewelry store and they're buying these big uh, ticket items, you will tend to uh, maybe spend a little more because you want to keep up with the Joneses, right? So maybe that's why when I went out with Latoya and Miles yesterday, I couldn't get anything because them is big spenders. Absolutely. <laughs> They're looking for... Um, <laughs> the bling. Items, right? so, yeah, I'm only kidding. I know Latoya. Yeah. She's she's a pretty good spender. She watches herself, and Miles is a student. But that that's some great tips. Thank you, and I I hope that I can follow them. Yeah, you're really speaky spooky today. I don't hear one Jamaican accent. <laughs> Uh, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. <laughs> and you see all these gift bags here? Every one of them's empty. The only reason why I have these surrounded around me is because I wanted to tell you guys that this is what I do. This is a good tip, and I'm sure some of the moms are doing this already. Um, why run to the dollar store every year for Christmas bags when? You could just use the same ones from last year. I mean, look at this one, it says to Miles. You think I should have thrown this away last year in this perfect condition? I mean, look it, why am I gonna waste money, even on the box, why am I gonna waste money and run around and buy new bags when these ones were perfectly fine from last year? You can take a little gift and donate it to a charity or to a hospital, to sick kids, to a woman's shelter. Because, I mean, we have, you and I, most of us have, and but there are a huge amount of people that are struggling. There are families out there that will wake up on Christmas morning and as parents don't have anything to give to their children. So why not take one of your gifts or two of your gifts and send it off to a charity? That will make you feel really good, and I'm sure a lot of you are doing that already. Hey, and to all the lovelies and hunties that stopped us in the mall yesterday showing us mad love, we love you and thank you for all of your support. So you guys, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy holidays, everyone, and I will see you back before Christmas. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Red Pink. Oh, right. I love you guys, right. man. Love you guys. Bless the baby. I, I want you guys. You make me fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>